Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another interesting video. Well, this particular video is about the problem in order successor in a BST. Guys, make sure you watch this video till the end because this particular problem is really interesting and frequently asked by companies like Amazon, Microsoft and Morgan Stanley. Starting with the problem statement, so quite simple and straightforward. It says that you are given a BST, a reference to a node X in the BST and you have to find the in order successor of the given node in the BST. Now, what is in order successor guys? So in order successor is basically the first node that we get just after the given node when we write the in order traversal of the tree. Let me explain using this example. So guys first uh, step is to write the in order traversal of the given tree. How we write the in order traversal? So always remember guys we first start with the left subtree then we print the root value after this we move to the right subtree. This is how we write the in order traversal. Now let me write the in order traversal for this particular tree. So guys see first I'll start with the left subtree and I'll simply print it here. After this I'll print the root value so root value is 11 and then I'll simply print the right subtree. This is how I can write right but we have not written the left subtree and right subtree till now. So let's move to the left subtree. This is again a subtree and for this I'll first print the left subtree of this subtree and then I'll print the root value then right subtree. So let's say I print the left subtree here after this I'll print 7 after this I'll print simply the right subtree till now I don't know what is the right subtree uh, here right after this I'll again move to this left subtree and for this left subtree see I have only one value in the left so I'll simply write the left first then root then right this is how I can write for this particular subtree right and what about this one again the similar method we will first write 8 then we will write 10 and now we don't have any right node for this after this I'll come to the right subtree for the right subtree I'll simply write the left value first after this the uh, root value after this the right value now guys this is how we can write the in order traversal of any binary tree or BST once you have written this then we have to find the in order successor of the given node which is 7 right so see guys in order successor is nothing but the node which is just after this 7 in this particular in order traversal so after 7 we have the node 8 right so node 8 is basically the output for this particular example now let me talk about one more example which is given in the problem statement itself so I think it's an easy example first step is to write the in order traversal so left root right this is the order so I'll write 1 then 2 then 3 once you have written this so you have to print the node just after the node 2 so this is the node right so 3 is going to be the output for this example now guys I hope you have understood the problem statement so let's talk about the solution Okay, so I have written one example here. See guys, the tree is same as the one we have used in the problem explanation, right? And there is a change in the value of x. So for this example guys, the first approach that comes to my mind is quite similar to the one we have used in the problem explanation. The approach says that we have to write the in order traversal first and after this we can simply traverse the in order traversal and then we can get the value which is just after this value, right? I hope that makes sense to you. So first step is to write the in order traversal. How we can do this? We have already done this for this particular tree. All we need to do is just write here. So I have 0 first, then 1, then 4, then 7, then I have 8, 10, after this 11, then 22, then 25, then 88, right? Let me store it in a list. So once we have stored it in a list, then all we need to do is we need to traverse the list, guys. And while traversing the list, the moment our current list value becomes equal to the given value, in that case, we have to print the next value. I hope you are able to understand this particular thing. So I have to write the condition like if my list value of i becomes equal to x for any value of i, right? So in that case, we have to return a list of i plus 1. So this is how we can solve the problem, guys. This is the approach that we need to follow. The first step is to store every element in the list. And the second step is to traverse the list and check this condition, guys. Okay, so now let me start with the first step. I have written the code for ordinary in order traversal here and this is the first step where we need to store every element in the list. See how. So the in order function basically takes root at the, as the parameter and then we are calling for the left part first because we always print the left subtree. Then this is the point where we print the root element right and after this we move to the right subtree. See guys this is the point where we will get every node value right. So the moment we get any node value we just need to store it in a list. So I'll simply say that okay list.add root element right. But hold on 
we don't have this particular list in the function till now so how we can get this list we can simply get this list as the function parameter right so i can simply write list here and list here as well so guys this is the whole step that we can write in order to get our value stored in the list what value i am talking about the value of in order traversal guys so this is about the first step once you have done this then you need to perform the second step and this is the second step guys in this step you just need to traverse out the whole list and while traversing the list you just need to check uh, whether the list value is equal to x if this condition is true in that case you just need to return list of i plus 1 which is the next element just value after that uh, after uh, the given node value x right and this is what the in order successor is but while returning the value make sure that the i plus 1 value doesn't get out of bound right so you have to check this condition as well now guys if this particular condition is not true for any value of list then you just need to return null as the output right now i hope you have understood the brute force approach or the naive approach so let me talk about the time complexity see guys the time complexity is nothing but o of n here right the reason is we are traversing the whole tree first for in order traversal and after this once we have stored every node then we are traversing the whole tree here as well right so the time complexity is o of n space complexity is again o of n because we are storing the values in the list and apart from this we are also occupying some stack space while traversing the uh, tree using the in order traversal right so this is about the first approach that we have guys now let's talk about the optimal approach that we have In order to understand the optimal approach guys all you need to figure out is we are given a BST right and what's special about BST is every value on the left subtree is smaller than the root value and every value on the right subtree is greater than the root value well we can use this property let's see how so when we write the in order traversal then we first print the left subtree after this we go to the root element then we print the right subtree right this is how we write the in order traversal so see for a BST the left subtree values are always smaller than the root value and the right subtree values are always greater than the root value right this means that this in order traversal is following the order from smallest element to the greatest element isn't it or i can say that this is nothing but ascending order of element isn't it so once you have figured out guys so always remember this observation that in order traversal for a bst is always sorted so let me write this in order traversal for bst is always sorted right and sorted in ascending order make sure that you always remember this property guys because it is used in a lot of problems so now coming back to the problem again so see the problem asks us to find the in order successor of the given node right so for this node the in order successor is nothing but the node just after the given node right and can i say that the in order successor is nothing but the node which is just greater than the given node because you can see that this is a sorted order of element right so the node just after the given node is same as the node just greater than the given node and see we know one more thing that every node value in the right subtree is nothing but greater than the given root value so this means that all these values are going to be greater than this 22 so can i say that I have to find the value which is the leftmost value and the greater uh, value than this particular node right so I have to find the leftmost greater value than the given node x so now this is the property that we need to use see guys this is the observation I have written the observation here we have to find the leftmost value which is greater than the given node value right so now let's see how we can do this I'll start with the root element currently I'm pointing to the root node right and see guys all I need to do is I need to compare the root value and the given node value so when I compare these two value then I realize that this value is greater right and root value is smaller and I have to find the value which is even greater than this particular value this means that the my answer is something which is definitely going to be greater than this value which is 11 right so this means that my answer is something that lies in the right subtree because right subtree contains all greater value than this value so in this case I need to move to the right subtree see what I'm saying I'm saying that the moment we realize that root value is smaller than the current node value so I have to move to right so I have written this condition here as well right okay so what I'll do is from this 11 I'll simply move to this node which is 25 right so from this 11 I'll move to 25 now you can see that 
this node is something which is greater than the given node value right so in this case I have to find the greater value so I can say that okay this can be my answer so in this case I'll simply store the value in my answer right because this there is a possibility that this, this node can be my answer because this is greater right but still there is no any guarantee that this is the leftmost value so in order to make sure that this is the leftmost value I'll simply move to the left side so that's why I have written this line right so this means that I have to move to this particular space now so I'll simply move to the next node so see from this 25 I'll simply move to the left side which is nothing but this node 22 right so I'll come here after this again you can see that the node value is something which is equal to the given node value right so in this case again I have to move to right so I'll simply come to this particular node and now the moment I realize that this is greater node so I'll simply override the value initially the answer was storing 25 because of this particular condition right and now it this value will be overridden and now I will have 24 in my answer right and at this point you can see that there is no any value to traverse so simply I have to run this particular condition repeatedly till my root gets equal to null so my root is not equal to null I have to do this set of steps again and again right so this is how I can solve the problem at last I will have my answer in the answer variable so all I need to do is just return the answer right this is how I can solve the problem guys I hope you have understood the approach and the intuition behind the approach talking about the time complexity so see for each iteration I am either moving to the right side or moving to the left side right you can notice this thing from the dry run as well and from this condition as well because there is a condition so either this condition is true or this condition is true right so I will either move to right side or move to left side this means that I'm not going to traverse more than the height of the tree right because each time I'm moving down to a level right so see the time complexity is going to be nothing but O of height of height of the tree and space complexity is O of 1 right the reason is we are not using any extra space here so this is about the approach guys I hope you have understood it so let me show you the code quickly well this is the code that we have on the left hand side I have written the C++ code after this I have written the Java code here and I have written the Python code now I hope you have understood everything related to the problem guys and the solution as well if you like the explanation then make sure you hit the like button thank you